Greetings, salutations, and hallucinations, O Steam Defenders. We are back again with Vaping with Uncle Jojo. Here today to talk about a juice. A uh, very close friend of mine, my big brother from another mother, the highly esteemed Mr. H.D. Hood, dropped me off this when I came by to visit with him. He doesn't do zero nicks, so he gave it to me. He hadn't even tried it. It's called Adam by Eve. Under there it says Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now, Jean-Claude, Jean-Claude. I'm assuming that's either his son or somebody's going to get sued. <laughs> but hey, took a look at the bottle. Nice glass bottle. Childproof cap. It's always a good thing, I suppose. You got uh, your standard dripper with a very tiny, very narrow end on it, which is a good thing. Makes it filling of the goblin a very easy thing. And, of course, that's what we will be running it in. Sitting on top of the Tesla Rosewood 120-watt regulated box, we have the Goblin Dual Coil Monster. She's running 26 gauge at 4 ohms, dual coils, Wickton Shishido Samurai Cotton. And, of course, that pretty little white Del Ren drip tip up there, because I like Del Ren drip tips. Hmm. As you can see, 4 ohms at 50 watts. Click that button again. 4 ohms. That's uh, 4.5 volts. Got a couple of uh, Panasonic INRs in there. Same thing as uh, EFES and AW for those who didn't know that. Ooh, man, that's good. I'm going to tell you something about a pear. It's not a tremendously strong flavor. It's very sweet, slight bit of tart to it, but it is so good. See, I grew up in the country, and right beside my house, we had a pear tree. And me and my dad used to sit up under there and cut pears and talk. You know, after you're cutting yard or going fishing or what have you, not father and son time. So pears, uh, they bring back really good childhood memories. So I really love my pear, and I haven't found a good pear yet. I will be going back and buying some more of this. Um, he got this free. I forgot to even ask where. I would imagine that if you go to giantvapes.com, the giant on the hill, that they more than like, I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, they do have this. Um, you get great customer service and all that good stuff, great pricing. It's a great company. So I do recommend Giant Vapes for those of you who want to go and buy and see a company with a bucket load of juices. And they, they got more juice than you can go through in an hour, I'm going to tell you right now. And I'm going to recommend this. If you like pear, you want something that's refreshing, something to get away from your creams and all the stuff. Which I'm, I'm, I'm heavy into creams, as we, as those of you who know know. Uncle Jojo loves his cream. That's part of being Big Daddy Smooth Love. See, I love to be sweet and creamy for you, baby. That's what I'm saying. Sorry, sorry. If I was you, I'd love me too. But I'm going to tell you, y'all need to pick you up a bottle of this. This is actually a quite excellent juice. Now, I did get another juice. This is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do, this This ain't going to take but a second. It's called Brewer Bottle Company, Coney Island Candy. And I'm going to tell you, in the humble opinion of Uncle Jojo, don't get none of this. It's kind of tastes like, well, a candy. I'm not sure what Coney Island Candy is. I've never been to Coney Island. I'm from the Deep South, so I've never been up there. I'm sure some of, some of you out there watching this will know, and you can leave a comment and tell me what it is if there is actually a such thing. But this, to me, basically tastes like, oh, I don't know, the stuff you buy at the dollar store, the little cheap little candies, and you buy them, and you're like, it's all right, I guess, if you're a kid, but for my, my adult palate, I just did not enjoy this. Now, it does come in a glass bottle. You've got your childproof cap. Possibly an Uncle Jojo proof cap and a dripper. Fairly thin juice. Again, this was given to me because it is a zero nick. My big brother does not do zero nick. I do. So I got given this for free. Here to tell y'all that personally, I wouldn't buy this. It's not, it to me just doesn't taste very good. It's got a very cheap chintzy taste to it. It's just not good. It just I put it to you like this. I put this in an Atlantis tank, used it. I tried it. I kept it in there all day. Tried it, tried it. Burned up about a half a tank, wound up washing the tank out. Now I'm stuck with this bottle. It's going on. It's going to be given to somebody else who wants it. Um, just 
I just poured the tank down the sink, washed the whole thing out, re-wicked, burnt the coils, all that good stuff, and loaded something else in. Uh, I use horizontal coils in my Atlantis, and they chuck. Uh, just didn't like it. Just me. I mean, somebody. I'm not saying that it's a horrible juice. Somebody else might like this. It might be your ADV. But for me, it's just not very good. The taste. I can't really. I can't find anything on the internet on this as far as what the flavor flavor profile is. I can't find it. Uh, they do have a Facebook page, and I wasn't able to find it, but I didn't enjoy it. I won't be back. I mean, I might try some of their other juices. Don't get me wrong. Just because you don't like one juice out of a company's lineup does not mean you're going to hate all of them. Let's be honest. I've tried several companies. One flavor I just don't like. Another one I really like. Some of them are in between. That's the way it works. But me personally, cannot give this one even one thumb up. I didn't like the taste. The taste just isn't there for me. It's... I can't really identify what it is. It's kind of a tartish, I don't know. I honestly don't know, And I don't. but I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. I used about a half a tank in Atlantis, poured it out, and re-wicked. So what's in here will stay in here until I find somebody else that wants it. Holla at your boy. You might get a free bottle. Hey, it's free. Now, that's it for me. I am gone. It's Sunday. I'm trying to enjoy my day off. Also, uh, spend a little time talking to a very, very beautiful blonde lady, which I'm hoping will work out into a girlfriend for Big Daddy Smooth Love, because she's sweet. And she likes them boomsticks. Likes the boomsticks, baby. That's right. That's right. Big Daddy Smooth Love. So, I'm going to tell y'all again, though. Adam by Eve is a great pair. This is a really good flavor. You're really, if you like, if, especially if you like pears, you're going to love this. It's really good. It's a very, very, very tasty blend. I mean, this stuff is really good. A pear taken out on the street and beaten to a pulp, and it literally tastes like you're vaping straight peach juice. I mean, not peach pear juice. This stuff is delicious. I will be going back and get me. I, I will be picking up another bottle of this eventually, when this run starts getting a little low. Really good stuff. So if you want some, grab you a bottle. I don't recommend this. I do believe this came out of, uh, I believe it was Zample Box or one of the, you know, there's I think two or three different companies that does that thing, and I think uh, that's what this came out of. Don't recommend this at all, but I do recommend the Atom by Eve. I also recommend the Tesla, and I highly recommend the Goblin. Forty watts, baby, forty watts all day long. The goblin will hold up on forty. It'll go higher than that, but that's about as high as I want to go. For my next review, I'm going to be doing something by Dr. Creamy. It's called Spec Ops. AJ's Blend. AJ the Dog. We'll be coming back with that one now. Next, that's going to be the next one up. I got to get. I got. It's finally coming out. It's just it will be coming out of steep either today or tomorrow. And as soon as I finish off the pair in here, I'm going to be cleaning out the tank, rewicking the whole nine yards, and we'll be doing a review on Spec Ops. I tried it before. I let it steep. It was really good, but pineappley. But we're going to try it now that it's been got a full month of sitting in that bottle, and we're going to try that bad boy out. And I'll let you know what that one tastes like. Until then, as always. Much love. I hope the Lord blesses you to the point where you have to say, Lord, please just hold up. I got to catch my breath. I can't deal. Woo! Because God is good and God is good all the time. And as always, peas and cornbread.